The pronunciation of the Danish language can be tricky at times, but thankfully the Danish grammar is not that complicated. Um, as you may already have discovered from learning the alphabet, some of the letters alter their sound and pronunciation when they are placed in words. Um, this is not unique for the Danish language, but uh, paired with the tongue-twisting nature of our language, it is necessary to know some basic rules of pronunciation. In this short video, I will review some of the most common rules um, that relates to the pronunciation. There are of course some exceptions, but these will be covered later on. And there are four general rules for pronunciation, pr pronouncing Danish words. The first rule is how to pronounce the most common uh, word endings. The first common word ending is when a word ends with the letter E, or in Danish E. This is pronounced as a normal Danish E. The sound is therefore E. To run, for example, is called in Danish is at løbe. Løbe. This is an E sound, completely normal E sound. Uh, houses, for example, is called huse. Huse. Again, a normal E sound. And remember, E in Danish is pronounced E. The second common word ending is when a word ends with the combination ER. And this is pronounced as a simple conjunction of the letters E and R. In Danish, these letters are E is E, and R is pronounced R. Therefore, worker would be called arbeider, arbeider, and cars would be bila, bila. Notice it is a conjunction. Do not pronounce the e and the r separately. You pronounce it as one sound, so it becomes a, arbeider, bila. We will cover this in class as well, but notice it is a conjunction of the letters. The third most common word ending is when a word ends with the combination ET. E -t. And most intuitively, you would pronounce it as it because this is the number it. As, as you know, the number it is one. But when it is, this combination is the end of a word in Danish, it is pronounced as a soft D. So, ran or in Danish løbet, would be pronounced with a D instead of løbet, it would be løbet. The most intuitive thing would be to say løbet, but in Danish we would say løbet. The house would then become huset, not huset. So when you see a word that ends with the combination ET, you pronounce it as a soft D. Finally, when a word ends with the combination ede, -E, this is also pronounced with a soft d. So the combination ede -E becomes id. Id. Washed, which in Danish is veskede, is pronounced veskede. This the combination ede -E is pronounced with a soft d, so it becomes id. The soft D is one of the hardest thing in the Danish language beside letters A, U, O, and it, you can only learn it by practicing it. So, notice, take note of these rules and remember them when we are pronouncing Danish words. The second most common rule relates to the letter D and the combination of the letters N and G. If the letter D follows a vowel, it is pronounced as a soft D. So this is a very important rule that makes it easy for you to remember when should the D be, be soft. If the letter follows a vowel, it is pronounced as a soft D. Food in Danish is mel. Skin in Danish is hud. Notice that both, both of these words is not pronounced with a hard D, but with a soft D. Mel, hud. When the combination of N and G is at the end of the word, it is pronounced with one sound. This is exactly the same as in the English language. For instance, the English word song, ong, the sound there is NG is N, song. 
in, in Danish it becomes sang. It is one sound. It is completely the same as in English. The third rule is what happen, happens with some consonants when they are placed in the middle of words. And this rule, relate, this rule relates to the letters P, T and K. If P is placed in the middle of the word, it is pronounced as a B. In Danish, remember, P is pronounced P, P, and B is pronounced B, B. Therefore, to eat in Danish, which is spice, is pronounced with a B, not a traditional P, spice. If T is placed in the middle of a word, it is pronounced as a D. And this is a hard D, not a soft D. Remember, in Danish, T is pronounced T, T, and D is pronounced D, D. Notice T is a lot more sounded than D. Chair in Danish is stol, stol. Notice the D sound, not, and I'm not saying stol, I'm saying stol. Or spiste, which means eight, is uh, you can actually see that the rule for P and T both applies for this word, so it becomes spiste. Finally, if K is placed in the middle of the word, it is pronounced as a G. Remember that K is pronounced ko, ko, and G is pronounced gate, gate. A ship in Danish it's called a skip, it skip, and this is a G sound, not a K sound. If I was were to pronounce a K sound, it would be skip, but it, I'm using a G sound, skip. The final rule is, when should you not pronounce the D and the H? When are they mute? And this is actually quite simple. D should not be pronounced if it follows the letters L, N and R. D is mute when it follows the letters L, N and R. Fire in Danish is called IL. If I were to pronounce the D, IL would be ILT. There will be an extra sound. Il, fire, is without a D. It's pronounced without the D. Man, in Danish, is man. Not meant. Word in Danish is called or. And if you were to pronounce the D, you will be ort. But you are not saying the D because it's mute, so you're saying or. Or bore, which is table. And we can go on and on and on. H is mute when it is before V or the letter J. So all HV words, which are, which are the words we use to, to start uh, a question, is there's, you do not pronounce the H, you only say the V sound. Therefore, whom in Danish would be vim. And I cannot make it put on the H now for demonstration because I'm not able to since I'm a native speaker. But Vim. Notice the H is mute. And you do not say the H when it's before a J either. So for instance, the Danish word for home, which is yim, is pronounced yim. So these are the four most common rules. When you know these rules, it becomes a lot, well, not a lot, but it becomes easier to pronounce the Danish language. And we will go over these in class as well, and we will return to them on a separate occasion. I hope you this this video was useful.